Guys, I'm getting so worried. Just kidding. But I am getting excited because the Shadowkin faction is going to open soon. My prediction is two weeks. We'll be getting the next update. And in that update, they will include the Shadowkin faction. We already have as many champions in this faction practically as the dwarves. And the dwarves have been all right, maybe not. Okay, but like uh Knight Revenant? No. Uh Skinwalkers? Yeah. I mean like it's getting pretty close, right? So Shadowkin faction uh wars crypt is not far behind. We have six legendaries at this point. Yes, I do have three of them. I don't know. It's just what happens on my account. And we have, what, three, six, eight, ten epics? And then a pile of unusable rares? Yeah, exactly. I'm actually surprised there aren't more rares but since they've been adding so many champions to the game. But literally all of these are unusable. Prove me wrong. Show your work. But either way, there are lots of things you can do to prepare, okay? Hopefully... You have been coming in and farming your jewelry, okay? Hopefully you've been farming your jewelry. For me, I have had this as a priority. So um, I've been selling very little, and I probably am actually at the point where I can sell a lot of the five-star stuff because um, I have made it a priority uh, since Shadowkin was released to farm Spider whenever I have extra energy, pretty much. And then plus, um, with the spider tournament over the weekend, uh, I was able to get a fair bit of accessories there as well. So, why should you care, I guess, is the point that there's going to be a new Shadowkin faction crypt. Well, number one is Lydia, okay? If you don't have her yet, then it's going to be an additional crypt that you need to beat in order to get her. Originally they said no, but then later on they corrected themselves and said yes. There will be, um, you have to beat Shadowkin to get Lydia, unless you get her beforehand, okay? Now, I have my Lydia already. I'm excited for the Faction Crypt. I think it'll be interesting um, to make a team, to see what works, to see what kind of craziness they put in those levels. Um, I'm excited for that part of the game, but I know a lot of people are worried about it. But the thing is, you can start building your Faction War team right now, okay? You may not have Shadowkin Legendaries, but I guarantee you that you have Shadowkin Rares. I guarantee you that you have um, Shadowkin Epics. And if you don't, you definitely can get Shadowkin Uncommons, okay? Now, are they going to help you beat the faction? No. But they will help you beat the first couple levels. Okay, so um, I have actually been leveling up some Shadowkin. Like, I have a, an Uncommon here. I have these two rares here. Um, that's not a Shadowkin. So, and I've actually sacrificed a lot um, because I, I thought this video was going to be made a long time before now. Uh, I think that whenever Player M releases this faction crypt, you've had enough time, okay? You've had enough time. I think they could have released this crypt a month or two ago and it would have been perfectly fine. So, either way, try not to hate. Try not to hate. But um, if you have. Uh, like legendaries or good champions that you like, you can start testing them out maybe in Doom Tower, okay? Um, okay, so I maxed out five Shadowkin <laughs> characters, and um, I'm going to throw them in here into this random Faction war stage that I'm on, and we'll just see how they perform, okay? Genzin does the decreased defense, uh, Jintoro and Obaro are my damage dealers. Yoshi is support. And uh, Hotatsu uh, is really like the only healer. Unfortunately, I don't have one of which I consider the key components of this faction. Let me just tell you, if you have Taragi, you should be maxing this guy out. Because he's the best healer 
in the faction. He has a shield and ally protection. Also heals himself. Um, he actually has the ability to put poison on people. Um, he has this provoke. I mean, he's literally the perfect Faction Wars champion. No, I don't know if you're going to use him anywhere else, although he does have a decreased attack on his A1, and that is good for clan boss, for bosses. So it's possible he's a good, you know, Faction Wars, clan boss, dungeon guy. Depends on where you are in your account, right? How many champions do you have maxed out? But if I get this guy, I'll definitely be maxing him out, and he might be necessary in order to beat this faction. Um, what does this guy do? strengthen and a shield on all allies okay that would be good uh and then he can do a stun and then he has a provoke on his a1 um and then heals this champion by 50 percent whenever an enemy dies you can't have your allies dying so let's just focus on the enemy dies part okay uh Buranguri would be um very critical no don't close the game close the screen and I know, like, a lot of people have built uh, Genbo. I still don't have him, but he's a good damage dealer. Like, a lot of the epics are very usable, okay? One thing that this fa this faction does not have is a reviver. As far as I know, none of these champions do a revive. Um, there's the one champion that if she kills someone, she revives. I don't really count her. So, without a Reviver, it may be hard to clear this faction. We'll just have to see how they set it up. As for now, you can start working on your Faction War team. Okay? You can start working on it right now. You don't have to wait. Worst case scenario, you can do like I did, and you can use them as chickens. Okay? So, I'm pretty sure that this team can come in here and beat this level um, I have decent gear on these champions. Uh, yeah, we should definitely be fine. I have some decent crit stats. I want to say some of them have masteries even. Basically, when there's been champion training or I needed to level somebody up and I didn't know who to level up, I went straight to Shadowkin. Um, and you should do the same thing. Now, obviously, if you have other champions that you need to prioritize... Um, that are going to be helpful more than just faction wars, then you should definitely do that. Um, but yeah, this team's seeming pretty decent. I um, guarantee you this can get through at least the first 12 levels. I mean, maybe the, the second boss would give you some trouble, depending on which one it is. Um, but with one of those two shield champions, like I said... Um, you probably would be fine. But right now, I'm kind of just relying on Hotatsu. Um, maybe I would put um, Yoshi in a shield set. I mean, if you did the fusion, everybody should have Yoshi. And I think that he could be very helpful for your faction. If nothing else, you just level him to 50 and he'll still help you out. Same thing with any of the epics you have. You can always level them up to 40. So, yeah, so we did beat this level, and Genzin actually doing the majority of the damage there. That's surprising, because I actually took his damaging gear off of him. Okay, well, I'll show you the stats, and I'll, I'll talk a little bit about what you want for Faction Wars. So, Yoshi, I just have him, like, really fast. Um, but, as it turns out, I don't think he's fast enough for my arena teams if I wanted to use him there. But you can see, I just, I don't have any kind of, like, crazy gear on him. Let's see what the shield is. Yeah, even the shield is just pretty mediocre. It might be legendary six star, but it's still not great. Um, did I get masters on him? No, not yet. And he's definitely not booked. I don't plan on booking him. Uh, Gentoro, I just put gear on today. And I'm going to be honest, I thought he was going to be the one that did all the damage. 100% crit rate, 217 crit damage, 3,500 attack. I mean, he's freaking slow, so maybe that's why. Um, but he has, like, crit damage gauntlets. He has an attack percentage chest. I don't know. Genzin, you can take a look at here. I built him defensively today, um, but actually before today, I had something similar to this gear on Genzin. So maybe I need to switch that back. Maybe Genzin can just be my decreased defense and my damage dealer. Huh. 
pretty impressed with Genzin so far. I wanted to build him fast, and I took off a bunch of crit damage. I put, uh, originally this morning, I had crit damage gloves on, those same, um, what kind of gloves are these? Lifesteal. Could not think of the name. Could not. Okay, anyway, I had those gloves on over here, and I switched to these crit rate gloves. Um, but I'm thinking maybe we just put Genzin in more of an endgame build. Either way, you definitely want HP on your Faction War Champions. Um, what was the build that I really liked? I guess it was the Genzin one. Where he has, like, some HP. He still has some attack. He has some defense. He's got the accuracy, the speed, uh, and the crit rate, crit damage. Does he have masteries? Oh, he does have masteries. That could be the whole reason why he did more damage. I think he's the only one with masteries. Okay, okay, that's probably why then. Still something to keep note of because I have him in uh, four pieces of Immortal. And then two pieces of one of my favorite new sets, which is Fatal. Oboro, I think she should be a damage dealer as well. But again, she doesn't have like crazy stats. And uh, I built her in, um, apparently she's got a wrong piece of gear here. Uh, so we need to switch out this immortal piece or add another immortal piece so that we can actually have three sets instead of two. But um, I think she's a really cool looking champion. And I'll be honest, I kind of just built her um, because I think she looks cool. I actually really love the hat. I think it's so super cool. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I think she's very good. No books or anything on these guys yet. As you saw, most of them don't have masteries. And then I built Hotatsu in Relentless, and the whole reasoning there was to try to circulate between this ability as often as possible, because I don't have another healer. Um, and he does actually have books. Oh, weird. I wonder why I booked him. Anyway, um, he has all these immunities as well, so that's pretty cool. I wish he had a revive, but he's a very cool-looking champion. The point of this video, guys, let's bring it back around, okay? The, po the point of this video is to tell you that Shadowkin Faction Wars is coming soon in this game. Polarium hasn't said anything, okay? They haven't said anything, but I guarantee you they're talking about it and they're planning it and it is coming soon. I guarantee you. So start prepping now. Get those uncommons ready. I mean, even if you just rank them up to 40 and then use them as chickens. Same thing with the rares or, or any of these other champions here. You know, get your Faction War team ready so that when that faction comes out, you're ready to go. Okay, here's your fair warning, all right? Do you have Shadowkin champions that are ready to go on your account? If so, who? Let me know in the comments. If you could choose any five champions, I would probably probably take her off the list uh, Rio because like 99% of people do not have her but you know basically if you could have any five champions who would you pick okay for most factions just picking all the legendaries is actually not a good enough team so let me know in the comments are you working on your faction war team do you have it built who would you choose and are you going to be upset when they open the faction crypt Last thing I want to say to you, I have beaten Faction Wars, you know, you guys know I have Lydia on my account, but I've also beaten the factions for many other people as well, okay? I've beaten every faction multiple times. I know exactly how to do it, I know what gear is necessary, the speeds, all of that stuff, what champions will work, what champions won't work, and I'm offering a special this week um, for... I mean, you can always message me on Discord um, about account services. But for $25, uh, I can do an account takeover for one specific faction. And I can uh, either help you beat it, help you get past where you're stuck. Whatever it is, we'll work out the details if you message me. 
I'm running a special, so it's a little bit of a discounted rate. And that way I can help you guys out before this faction is actually put in the game and you have another thing to do before you get your Lydia. Let me know if you would uh, enjoy that. And if this video was helpful to you, uh, hit that like button. Um, and I think that if you've watched a couple videos of mine and you're not subscribed yet, you should probably just do that too. So subscribe so we can hang out more and I can bring you more great Raid Shadow Legends content. I'm MTG Jedi. I'm now in tournament position 11. So we got some work to do. Come hang out on Twitch. Live streaming. It is so much fun. And regardless, whatever else your day brings you, I hope it's great. Have a good day, guys.